Welcome to Sri Ram Medical College. Today we will explore Clinical Laboratory Safety and Biomedical Waste Management Chemical Waste, Infectious, Biohazard, and Pathological, Large Tissue, Waste are the three main forms of waste produced by clinical laboratories. Proper disposal methods and environmentally sound procedures for dealing with laboratory wastes are detailed here. In the healthcare industry, red bag waste refers to biohazardous infectious waste. Blood, laboratory waste, and other body fluids that must adhere to specific regulations can all go into the red bag. Autoclaving or sterilization in a properly equipped facility is the gold standard for treating this kind of trash. Typically, after being collected, this trash is compacted and taken to a designated dump. Oftentimes, the streams of trash produced in laboratories are disregarded. After all, the money for trash removal doesn't come straight out of the lab's coffers, does it? A sophisticated process for disposing of numerous waste streams inside the laboratory setting has replaced what was once a straightforward approach to dispose of blood and body fluids. Fluid blood or bulk body fluids human-generated albumin, and other human body fluids are examples of common red bag wastes in a laboratory. Human infective cultures, biological agents, and lab wastes that contain live or attenuated vaccinations. Chemical, infectious, radioactive, restricted substances, pharmaceutical, multi-hazardous, shops, and non-hazardous trash are all types of garbage that can be found in landfills. Unique qualities and procedures are needed to eradicate each. As biohazard wastes, pathological and big tissue wastes cannot be sterilized and must be incinerated instead. This trash, indicated by yellow bags, will typically be handled by the same disposal service as your red bags. Pathological trash, which includes discarded human tissues and body parts from unintentional removal, surgical procedures, and autopsies, belongs in the yellow bag. And to clarify, when we talk about animal waste, we mean the remains, organs, and blood drawn from animals that were deliberately and purposefully subjected to human infecting substances. While not all laboratories produce pathological waste, it is important to remember to use yellow bags instead of red ones if your facility deals with human or animal tissues. The best strategy will be one that can be implemented within the constraints of the facility and will satisfy all applicable regulations, as well as reducing liability and costs. The waste management plans and goal should be to ensure the safety of the facility's workers and patients, as well as the surrounding area. In order to begin crafting a waste management plan, it is necessary to conduct a thorough audit of the laboratory. As a result, the lab, ES, and janitorial services may need to work together on this. You should reuse your formalin, ethyl alcohol, and xylene. It's simple to reuse, distill, or filter these chemicals, saving money and keeping gallons of garbage out of landfills. Join Sri Ram Medical College and take the first step toward a successful career in medical laboratory technology. We are here to assist you in launching your career as a medical lab technician. Call us at 9968193009 for more information about our program or to submit an application right away. Sri Ram Medical College, nurturing next generation of healthcare leaders, and offers all paramedical courses at competitive fee and helps in 100% placement assistance.
admission open. For more information, please visit our website sriramcollege.com and like, share, subscribe, our YouTube channel Sriram Medical College. Good luck, goodbye.